Hi there. Just get a uh, and a few minutes for people to actually. Let me change. Forgot to uh, change some things. to go there. I had to change it. <laughs> I forgot. It took me so long to set this up because of a non-problem that I really wasn't having, but thought I was having. And, uh, I forgot to change the title and everything back from Goemon and things. Because we're not playing Goemon today as much as I would have liked to do that. Um, because, uh, as it turns out, my memory card is dead. And it did not uh, save the, uh, the save file on there. And I haven't had time to move forward back to where I was. Um, so I have uh, ordered a replacement memory card, basically with, with new all, new fangled new technology in it, um, which will better help me keep my save files in order for N64. And um, I should be getting that on Wednesday. So I'll probably be streaming them then for going on. on vacation this week, so I'm going to be doing a couple more streams during the week, um, but uh, this is normal start time for this. So I'm just doing some uh, some uh, Link's Awakening Rando in the meantime. And I'm actually, as you can see, I'm properly using a tracker this time with a, with a map and everything, so I know where to go if I get stuck. Because getting stuck is pretty much inevitable. Muffin Jets is here. I don't know who that is. Who is Muffin Jets? We got the Pegasus Boots at start. That's pretty nice. Let's go ahead and mark that down. Who's pinging me on Discord? Oh, that's pinging me on Discord. I don't even know why I'm looking on Discord. There's nothing to see on Discord. Nothing for me to see on Discord. Like, I didn't even hear a ping because I have streamer mode on, so it's not going to give me any... any kind of uh, noises or anything. Alright, so let's check sword. That's always the first place I think to check. Can I get the sword? I don't think I can get the sword without the without a sword or a shield. Or some kind of weapon. All I have are, the, are these boots. I can't actually get the sword, so that's kind of silly of me. That's okay. I just gotta remember to actually check that later, then. Because Lord knows it's gonna be another magic rod situation. Like last time this happened to me. Doctor Ruck, move, please. I shouldn't have gone down this way. But you know what? I don't have to put up with your crap. I'm gonna just go back to the start. How do you like that? Actually, what I meant to do was go elsewhere in that same area, so that sure showed me. Already off to a great start. I probably should have waited a couple more minutes before I started, but whatever. There usually isn't anybody here until like 10-15 minutes later anyway. I don't feel like waiting that long. Especially for Octoroks to get out of the way when I have no weapon. Well, there's a magic rod. Uh, there's that, and take that 
off of there. I kind of have my map marked um, in such a way that uh, they still all use like the um, like if there's a um, if there's normally a chest where the item is, I'll mark it as a chest, and same thing with uh, pieces of heart and shells and whatnot, just to kind of give me more of a, a visual idea of what's supposed to be there, and it, it'll help me remember what I'm, what, what, basically what to do. Thought that was a pretty smart idea. I got the ocarina already, jeez. Alright, well, I don't, I didn't have, uh, did not have, um, what do you call it, marked, a sword icon marked on the map. Actually, let me just test something out. Will this still keep going? Yeah, it will still keep going on the OBS. I'll just do that, just keep the emulator in the background. Do it off the OBS window like I was doing with going on. Actually, I, um, I was messing around with some stuff. Um, while I was trying to get set up because it was uh, kind of a pain in the butt getting set up today for some reason. Like, there was some non-issue with the sound that I was, like, blowing out of proportion in my mind. Like, why is the sound not working properly or showing up on things? And it was because of, you know, some things that I'm kind of smart enough to to figure out normally. You know, say la vie. Um, also, I, I found out one of the reasons why, um... Because I'm actually, unlike last time, I'm actually on the uh, the more stable version, the most st stable version of the, uh... of the, uh, of the rando here, and, um... As it turns out, uh, you can indeed, um use uh, custom graphics and whatnot Where is it? There it is. Uh, on that version I was mistaken just need some money here and uh, the reason why he's so quick to uh, stop you from stealing uh, actually when you get the sword uh, he will uh, it's, it's set up so that it's uh, at least by default um, when you have the sword, it'll let you steal like normal. But stealing is never in logic, apparently. So, I guess that means it's always going to be two useless things. Maybe it's just always going to be two rupees in place of those items? I don't know. I will uh, test that theory later. I think the only place I can really go right now is, um, at least until I have enough rupees. I really don't need, need magic powder. Unless I really want to get past the raccoon right now. Can't get that. Um, can't get any of the things there. I got some early defense here. That's a shovel. I'll probably be getting that. I'll, I mean, I'll be needing that later for some checks. But I don't have the rocks. So I think I need to get some rupees at least to do start doing the um. The fishing minigame. Because I don't see a whole lot of options that... Or I can also use, use the, um, the trendy game to get magic powder and get past the raccoon to get that chest. Um, but without a sword or a power bracelet or a rock's feather, I can't get like half of this. <laughs> or any of it, really. So I just gotta farm money this early on. Wow. That's great. Let's just 
let's do that. We can just farm up 10 rupees real quick. Um, can only farm from these bushes, and they're not dropping any money, which is great. That's this is what we want to happen. Absolutely. I guess it'll only do that if we have. Let's try one more time. Can you can you not farm from bushes with the magic rod? Guess not. All right. Now that I remember, I have the boots again. Um, I guess I'm gonna have to just kill enemies for rupees now, which is no big deal. I only have to kill like a few of them, and then just make sure that I get the magic power like first try. I am not getting a an acorn. You're not gonna trick me. How dare you? Roadblock. Oops. Didn't mean to get that. It's okay, we'll find a house and like reset it. I don't want to pick that shit up. Nobody wants to hear this. the music. And I do have bombs for what it's worth, but there aren't a lot of places that I can bomb, really, in my current state. I mean, there's the, there's the Korea cave down there, but I can't get at the Gorea at all until I have the, um, the magnifying lens, so that's, there's no point for that. With all the other places I can, you know, bomb to get something, I actually have enough rupees, I can just go back to town right now. With all the places I can think of that I actually need to, to, to bomb to get to, to get stuff, are I, places I need other things to access anyway, so... this magic powder. I'm not picking these up on purpose, I swear. Actually, let's uh, reset the power up. Actually, the power up would have been reset when I went into the trendy game anyway, so it's fine. gonna just kind of as a safety just save just in case I fuck this up I never remember if it's I think it's right, it's right before you get to the corner I think when I push the button See, this is why we can just reset. <laughs> That's why this is a safety. Can save scum when playing the regular game. I don't see why I can't save scum during a rando.
is when it's on the tile before the turn. So let's see what's past the raccoon. And even if it's not something that we need, we do have at least have access to the swamp. Um, because access to the swamp means that we have uh, not only access to there's a there's a um, a chest that's normally in the swamp that we can get to because we can just get around the flowers with the um, with the magic rod no problem. Uh, but we, we can also uh, access at least the first couple of, um, of chests in uh, level two. Oh, and we have the ocarina, so I can just go ahead and talk to Marin, I think, uh, to get what's normally the uh, Ballad of the Windfish. I didn't think of that before. Actually, I'll go ahead and do that once I've grabbed what's here. That's just a piece of heart. So let's take that off the tracker. There. Okay. Oops. Yes. So I can see chat and everything. Because that's important. Let's go back to start and then go talk to Marin. <laughs> Why are you talking like it's endgame? That's like endgame talk. And we haven't Oh there we go. I have to have the Ocarina equipped. Is it because I have the magic rod? Is that why she's giving me endgame dialogue? It's like I haven't I haven't done anything yet. Why are you saying that I'm the nicest boy you've ever met? I haven't even talked to you. <laughs> I haven't even gone into any of the dungeons, and that's usually, at least as far as I know, where a lot of those um those story flags are triggered. But I don't really know all the every single in intricacy in, in and out of the game. Yes, what is the item? It's the sword! Okay, we're getting somewhere now. Alright, well I'm glad that I remembered I could do that. And we can at least check the, um... chest in that one cave. In the woods. We still can't go out into the prairie or anything yet, but we can check this chest right here. I feel icky having a <laughs> sword button on A, actually. Let me go ahead and change that out. Yeah, that's much better. And that's the hook shot. Oh, baby. I'm not going to say Jet Seed because, you know, everyone knows what fucking happens when you say Jet Seed. Because this is just like the beginning where it'll give you everything that you, like everything you need except for like two things. And then you're spending like the rest of the game looking for the two things. And it takes for fucking ever. That's usually how stuff like this turns out. So I'm counting my blessings, and I'm not, you know, I, I'm not going to go out of my way and say, like, the fucking seed is free or anything like that, because it never is. The seed is never free. Like, even that Triforce Hunt seed I had, like, a couple weeks ago, where it, like, gave me, like, everything I needed right then and there, but still... If I was going for all of the treasure, the treasure Triforce pieces, it would have 
eventually been like, yeah, um, we're going to stop giving you stuff. Because we were only going for 10 out of the 20 that were available. Alright. So let's remember to take note of how many unique items we get in each dungeon. And also, um, make sure to get these dropping keys, because they can be items as well. Okay, they're just keys in this case, that's fine. There's this chest down south. It's another key. Can't do anything else from here or that way. There is a chest down in here. And I think in order to get the treasure chest that's in that door, we need the rock's feather, but I'm going to check anyway, because I'm going to be using these keys eventually anyway. So I may as well go in here. Let's grab that money. That's a key, so... I couldn't get it even if I wanted to right now. So that was a whole lot of nothing. But, like, progression for later, I suppose. Um, that's the shovel down there. And let's go play the fishing minigame. That's the next, the, the next best thing I can think of. Oh, now that I have the sword, we can also steal uh, from the shop. I'll test that theory once we uh, get in there. That small fish. I have plenty of rupees. Even if I get all the fish here, I, can get, I have enough to get all the fish here if I wanted to. But I still want to just get the big fish that normally has the piece of heart. anyway. Yeah, I sure did. Okay, that's fine. Let's take that out. Let's take this off. And that's all I could get there. Most of these chests, I probably could have put more in, like, these two chests in order just in caves, but... Most of these chests are out on the overworld, or have... Some of them aren't marked. Some of the, uh, the in-cave chests aren't marked, is what I'm getting at. Alright, so what can I do now, then? I have the hook shot, but I can't really go... too much farther out... anywhere. I can get the shovel for all that'll do me. I may as well go get it. If I have the shovel, I can actually go... I can dig up that, um, that sea shovel that's in the, uh, the doghouse. And even though I can't jump to it, I can grab it with a hookshot. That could be important. The thing that I'm really hoping for at this moment is the power bracelet, because there are quite a few checks I can make with that. I can go in here and get the, uh, the hookshot chest in there. I can check the mad batter. I can check the uh, piece of heart that's in the woods. I can go out into the prairie. So there's a good amount that I can do. Shovel. Oh yeah, take the, this heart piece here. Because yeah, I can get that, I can get that. Well, yeah, I can get that with power bracelet, I can get that with power bracelet. These I need the, um, the rocks feather. If I have the power bracelet, I can get that one chest in level two at the very beginning. 
So yeah, just at like a cursory glance, I think the power bracelet will be more will be more uh, useful in the short term. I wouldn't mind having the rock's feather either. Um, the rock's feather obviously will allow me to also explore more of the map, but it seems that most of the stuff that most of the stuff I can get to right now is blocked off by the power bracelet, so I think that's going to be the next thing the game's going to want to give me. Speak of the devil and he shall appear! Excellent. Alright, well... I got what I was hoping for. Let's hope this doesn't come back to... Because now I want the Rock's Feather. That's the next thing I'm hoping for, is the Rock's Feather. Because when, when I was trying to make the, uh, the, the seed for this before... I mean, earlier today... Um... Ooh, I can do the um, the dream shrine as well. Let's do let's do the stuff in the uh, in the woods for now. Yeah, um, for whatever reason, it was taking like sixty nine years to generate the uh, the uh, randomizer seed on my first attempt, and I think it's because like I moved the source file as it was doing stuff, and it was just like locked for like ten minutes, and I'm like, oh, that's just money. I don't need that. Um, and I'm like, what's taking so long? And then I, I tried it again, and it only took like a minute, so it was probably because I moved that file while it was working. I'll unmark that, um, that piece of heart in just a second. Let me see what's in here first. Okay. Okay, well, we got that. We got that accounted for. I should have marked that as, like, a chest I could get. shirt at some point. I'm wearing like this black long sleeve shirt because I was mostly in uh, like comfy mode all day because like I said I'm I'm on vacation now and today was my last uh, work shift before going on vacation. I didn't have that mark on the map anyway. And I was just like I'm gonna put on my pajama pants and this like longer tee because it was like in the 40s this morning. So I'm like, yeah, I'll dress up a little bit warmer. And I just never changed out of them. But now it's starting to get a little bit warmer. I don't know if it's because of how I'm sitting or... If it's just like some... Maybe it's because what I'm drinking, I don't know. Nice little rum and Pepsi going on there. Maybe that might be it, but um, in any case, yeah, I'm, I think I might change my uh, change into like a t-shirt and shorts here before too long. I don't need to do anything in there. Oh, I can go down here because there is a seashell. Well, it's normally a seashell down here. Heart. Yeah, that's fine, I guess. Uh, let's check what that piece of heart is, at least. And then go to the Dream Shrine afterwards, I think. 
Because I don't want to go... I don't want to go back to level 2 right now. I don't want to go too far into, uh... Into, like, the prairie or anything right away. Okay, yeah, that's garbage. I don't need that. Let's just mark that off. Okay, yeah, let's go to, uh... Let's go back to start. And, uh, go to the Dream Shrine. That's what I wanted to do. Because I can just... I can get two checks in there, bing, bang, boom. So I can see what's in here now. Because I do have a sword. So yeah, Tee is just... He's just gonna let me. Well, that was a good amount of money, anyway, at least. Oh yeah, go ahead and kill me. That's fine, I don't care. I just want to see what's behind door number two. What you're normally trying to charge a thousand rupees for. More money. So I guess that's what it means when it's not in logic. Because <laughs> the random randomizer is like stealing is bad and is never in logic, so I guess it's just going to always give you trash. Which is weird because, um,. I don't know if there's like a shop sanity option now or something like that, but I know in the um, in Z4 randomizer, there's usually some kind of uh, there's some, there's some kind of key item sometimes there, rather than just you know money. And I get I, and I get why they just like replace it with money in this case because they want to put the shovel and the bow elsewhere. But it just goes to show that it's not worth stealing anything um, going forward with this. Ooh, there's the rock's feather. That's a uh, good thing I checked here. Okay, so we can actually... Let me just put a triangle over the Dream Shrine. We have rock's feather now, so we can... We could full clear level 3 if we had the key to that. Uh, but we don't. Oh. We also have the power brace, and I forgot to mark that off. Uh, we can full clear level 2 now, though. I think I'll do that. While I have the option. I'll go full clear level 2, and I'll grab the, um... I'll grab the two chests, like, right up, uh, that are just to the north of, uh, of Mr. Wright's house. It says three there, but that also doesn't include the heart container. So it's four items altogether. One of which can be dropped by the boss. Uh, if I don't have it already. So it's just four checks and the, um... And the nightmare key. That's really all I need, I think. I, I may need other keys, too, but... piece. And this here. It's just bamboozle. Alright, that's fine, I guess. It's good to know that we've checked them at least. I just need to remind myself next time to... I guess I, did, I just didn't want the map to be too cluttered. By marking all of the entrances with chests and whatnot, but at the same time... That's kind of useful having them there. Alright, let me take out the... The Wang. That's the 
kids call it these days. Now let's get the full clearing this. It's a golden leaf, for what that's worth. Let's go to this check up here. Oh, that's right, that's a key. So this is gonna be important either way. That's the boss key too. Yep, I'm glad I got that. Took care of you. Let's just continue with the dungeon now. There's the Ballad of the Windfish. So that's one less thing we have to worry about for Go mode. Oh, so I should mark that off. So, I uh, can't kill them, because uh, I don't have a shield. So let's just skitter around them. That's the main. Re that's actually the main reason I, I couldn't clear uh, uh, level 1 right now, if I had uh, the key to it. Because I need the shield to kill spinies. Let's get lucky with Hinox. need luck. I have magic rod. What am I thinking today? Okay. I guess let's just... If we're getting lucky with anything, let's hope it's these drops. We have two unique checks left. There's the flippers. Holy crap. Well... That, uh, but we have exploration covered. I think we can go anywhere now. That's not something I was expecting to say at this point in the seed. Uh, is that yeah, we're practically go mode right off the bat. Also, yeah, so we only have one unique check left here. Um, I'd like to have the bow, but I don't even think we need that. I mean, granted, we will need the shield eventually, but, um... It's like, yeah, we're practically in go mode now. There's the beak. So I guess what happens if you if you see that you're getting stuff quickly and you don't immediately try to count it as a jet seed, you know, try to count your blessings and whatnot and say, well, I, I know what happened the last time I said that, then it's just fucking free. Because holy shit. We need, like, a shield? I guess the mirror shield, too, in order to access level 8, but... Um, I can just kill the Paul's voice. Straight up like that. 
we need, yeah, we need the mirror shield in order to even access level eight. Um, and we do need the level two power brace in order to get through level six. But um, other than that, we're go mode. I, again, I didn't, never thought I'd be saying that this soon, but here we are. Because we even got what we need to get into the final dungeon, which is the, uh, the Ballad of the Windfish already. And I guess we do need the Frog Song of Soul in order to get into level 8. So the, there are, as I count, there are more things that we need, but like all the main exploration stuff, we're good to go. something. Because um, I've seen other people play this, up, um, and there's like a glitch that they do where they can just break the uh, bottle in one swing, and I think it has something to do with the magic rod and throwing it up against the wall. And, nah, I don't know. Ignore me. I'll look up how to do that one day. But this was kind of like a spur of the moment thing because I couldn't do what I was planning to do today. Well, to be fair, I, I pretty much uh, figured it out like on Wednesday that I wasn't going to be able to play going on today, but because um, that's when I ordered my. Uh, or was it? It was Thursday or Friday? No, it was Wednesday. Um, but, uh, I think Friday was when I ordered the memory card, which was yesterday. But for most of the time today, I was like, do I want to play this or do I want to start quick? <laughs> Seashell, okay. I'm not marking seashells down on here, it's not even worth it. Exploring the prairie, because that's just like the next logical place in my mind to go. That looks like the fucking type of speed. Actually, we can. We're nearby, we can just full clear the uh, color dungeon, why not? Let's just do that real quick. That'll only take a couple minutes. We've got plenty of magic powder, got the magic rod. It's Miller time. out real quick. Let's see what two items are in here. So we don't even have to full clear it if we don't want to. I mean, this is completely optional in the base game, but I do know that they're... Like, the only non-dungeon items that you get here anyway are the... whatever your choice of tunic is. And since this accounts for both of them, we can just keep doing checks until... until we have, um... until we have two. So 
see there's one of them. Just money. So if we get another check, and we have to get another unique item, we can just leave, and we don't even need to come back. So all the fairy will give us are like beaks and stuff. Just go the golem route one time and see, uh, right now and see what's that way. But God forbid the other the other unique item is just like you know the fairy has it, and then I can't get past because I don't have a boss key or something. I'm short of key. Because Lord knows that's gonna be what's what's over there, and all the some of the chests this way are like the beak. And, uh, the map, which I don't need. This is a key here. Where's the other? There it is. Give me a key. Gave me the, the key noise, but it still gave me a map. So that was a little misleading. And I don't appreciate it very much. But I'm fairly sure this means that the boss key is behind the fucking the um, giant uh, buzz blob. Yeah, it's behind the giant buzz blob. So we do need to go back. So let's just do that right now while I'm thinking about it. Because the beak and whatever the other unique item is are behind the, uh, the fairy. I know that I'm at near full, but I was also at near full when I fought the damn Buzz Blob last time. Because this thing is really dumb.
The problem is you have to get really super close to it, and when you're really super close to it, that's when it uses its omnidirectional attack on you. That's the problem. Alright, so Vanilla Nightmare Key. Kill these again. Let's use these damn boots. Nothing for a reason. I just noticed right before I went through it, the boss door was, uh, looked like a, um, revolving door. It must still act the same way. I mean, of course it's gonna act the same way. It's programmed to act a certain way, but, like, it had a different tile set for a second there, basically. Alright, give me what I need. Stone beak. Yeah, what's the other thing? Secret seashell. Alright, that was a waste of time. equipping that. I'm not just doing this. I don't need to do anything in there. That's just the ruby. So let's take a look around down here. There are several, several checks I can make in the prairie area. I need, to, I need the flippers to get that, but I have the flippers. I can get all of this shit. It's fine. The main things I'm looking for are like dungeon keys, shield, and a power a power bracelet upgrade. And and um, the frog song of soul on gold mode. Let's just talk to Link Richard real quick. I guess it was hidden under the rupee. So we can get the we can check the, the witch now at some point. And the witch is right nearby, may as well do that after I dig this up. Ten arrows, okay. I don't have a bow, so it doesn't really matter.
red tunic, okay. That's fine. Let me just, uh... Change into that real quick. Get ourselves a nice attack upgrade. We have the red one on. Oh, okay. So because I selected a yellow sprite, it's not going to change what the sprite color is when we change tunics. And that's fine, because at least it gives some kind of usefulness to checking the subscreen to see what I'm wearing. But I wanted... I, I, what I was actually checking to see was... Because I, I thought I still had the, um, the default tunic on. So I wanted to see if it was going to be... Um, if they had like found a way to say, like, oh, you're wearing the yellow tunic. <laughs> because I picked yellow for my sprite, but... That just means my sprite is always yellow. Which is fine. Because that's what I like. Like, I like... It looks like orange. And orange is my favorite color, so... Find these shields and stuff. That's what I'm looking for. Looking for shields, power brace upgrade, songs, dungeon keys. There's a dungeon key. We can, get, we can clear out level 3. And level 3 is right there, so let's go do that real quick. being other items, because there are uh, a few locations I don't normally check, because they're usually just drop you know, keys that drop from the ceiling, but you gotta remember that those can be items now too, so I should check all those rooms until I have, how many unique checks are in Key Cavern? Four normally, so five. Can I look at the right thing? Yeah, I'm looking at the right completely the wrong direction, too. Also, I forgot to unlock the dungeon before going there. I'm good at game, I swear. Check out Pothole Field while we're in the area, too. I'll do that after the dungeon. Actually closer to the entrance of the dungeon than we are. Pothole Field, technically. Maybe, 
maybe one of the things we want is where the, uh, the food key normally is. It's a secret seashell. I'm not marking the seashells down because I don't need to. I might as well while I'm at it. Why not? Take you off because I don't need to check you anymore. I'm just making sure I'm updated on my map. Take those two off. Okay, yeah, everything looks up to date as far as I can see. Compared to what I normally put on, or not normally, compared to what I put on by default anyway. has a crystal switch in it. And there's usually three drops here anyway. There's another key. The crystal switch. We'll come back in here in a bit. Let's just get the other chest from that and the key. It was in the way of the sword. Chest. Beak. Right. Now let this floor taken care of completely. Right, let's see what's in these other rooms. I normally won't go in here, but um, at least. Yeah, I hope I don't fuck up. Because I know some of these can drop into the pit if I'm not careful. Although, although I am in a position where I can just like hit these guys from a distance, and I can just easily catch the key. That's no problem. That was my, always my problem with this room sometimes, is that um, at least in like the very original version of the game, like the, uh, like the Game Boy version, like the key wouldn't necessarily respawn if it fell into a hole. And all that you get in these other two outer area, uh, other two outer rooms are keys, which are actually useless when you really think about it. Because if you just go right, you go straight to the right, you can still complete the dungeon, no problem. In vanilla, anyway. But at least now I know what was there, and I have plenty of keys to go forward with the dungeon. then I can uh, warp back here easily. It saves me some time in backtracking from one of the rooms here. Just to while well, we're over here, this will, just, this will still lead to where I'm aiming to get to. Map. Down, up. I don't like going through this room because these guys, because they're basically on a timer, they can take way. They just. They don't take way too long to kill, but, like, they're still annoying to deal with. So I don't like going back through there, because they will respawn. Ooh, we got the face key. That's, uh, actually very good. And since I beat the Dodongo Worms already, I just saved myself having to go back through that. Because I can just, um... 
save and quit warp. And then warp back to where I was. here because I got two more checks, two more unique checks anyway. I've got several checks, but I got two more unique items in the uh, dungeon. Good, shield, shield is good, yes. We want the shield. Alright, one more item. And then I mean, honestly, the only other chests that are going to be here, like, the one item, and then, like, it up. the compass and the nightmare key, and a useless key check as well, because there's that uh, key check right before the final boss that gives you a small key, and the small key really isn't for anything. Yeah, we only have one chest left, so that's, that's either going to be the Nightmare key or it's going to be an item. Well, there's also the boss. The boss could also have a thing, so... More likely, this is going to be like a um, vanilla Nightmare key. The key out... the the drop key outside the, uh... Oh no, this is the drop key. So the nightmare key is outside the boss room. Very interesting. Not a problem in the slightest, mind you. Just very interesting. these guys, just like in vanilla. We actually have to kill all the keys in the next room so we can get the Nightmare Key. That's the only thing left. And then the uh, the boss is going to have uh, whatever the uh, last unique item was. Alright, give me that Nightmare Key. Seashells for a uh, a check at the um, good old seashell mansion. So that's something, I guess. Okay, so we got the level six key. can't actually clear level 6 yet, so before we go there, I think it'd be best if we just, like, took care of a lot of these other checks that we haven't done yet, because I still haven't even, like, visited half of the map yet. And I can easily do so, so let's just do that uh, for the time being. Because I know that uh, Candlelit Castle is just open. Um, you don't have to uh, proceed in the... Uh, in the... Um, what do you call it? I'm gonna destroy the, the pig here. Uh, you don't ha actually have to do the uh, the trading quest to open up Panelet Castle anymore. So let's just um, pop in there and uh, take care of the... Oh, we can actually go in over here now. They've shortened this so that you can just dash jump over it. Let's just 
money we don't need. There is still the piece of heart in, or the piece of heart location in the moat, which is why there's still a piece of heart on that tile. This is going to be kind of a. Oh, I made it. So before we go into the castle. Actually, no. Let's go into the castle, and then we'll do our normal rounds to get around the um, around the bay. But yeah, this is just open now. You don't have to actually do the trading sequences I've learned. Actually, while we're here, let's swim around the moat and get that piece of heart. There's no reason not to. We're here. It's kind of a pain in the ass. Let's just get it out of the way. Because Lord knows that's going to be like the powered up bracelet or a boss or a dungeon key or the mirror shield, and we need all of those things, or the the uh, the frog song. Oh, I forgot to go to Pothole Field. Right, it's just money. Let's check Pothole Field later. Let's do Candlelit Castle first, well, since we're in the area. Then when we're done with Candlelit Castle, then we'll do Pothole Field, then we'll explore around Marcus Bay. Uh, we can also, while we're in Martha's Bay area, clear out uh, Catfish's Maw. Because we have access to it, and we can just... We can clear it. The only, the only dungeon that we cannot clear upon access right now is level 6. And by that I mean full clear, because we, we do need the, um... Well, I mean, we have to clear all the dungeons anyway, but we do need the, uh... The power bracelet, level 2, to, uh... To clear that out. Oh, an actual golden leaf. Fell on us as the gate opened. It's fine. Alright. You in there. I'm gonna need to buy some bombs soon or something. Run it out. There's our fifth secret seashell. Uh, nice insurance there. Alright, so... Candlelit Castle was pretty much a bust. Um, I'm going to take a detour to... the Seashell Mansion. Um, so I can actually check the first check there while I still have... five seashells. Because it's still like vanilla. Once you get more than five, you're, that, that first check is gone forever. Because normally it's a bonus seashell, but um, here it could be anything. And I'm 
fairly sure they didn't change those out. Because you don't get bonus seashells with 5 and 10. But if you get more and you didn't get the check the first time, then, um, then you can't check it again. At least, you can't get that particular reward. Okay, it's another secret seashell. But this is a good thing I checked. So, but yeah, you get uh, you get prizes at uh, 5, 10, and 20. The 20 is normally the level 2 sword, but um, that's somewhere in the pool. I mean, it could be there still. I don't know. It's a heart piece. Alright, let's... Before we go further into Martha's Bay... Let's uh, go to Pothole Field. So just just so that I, I don't forget to do it later. Because we actually we have the ocarina and we have enough money to pay for the concert. It's just I know this is a pain in the ass because it takes so long to get through, but it's always good to check. I mean, you have to go through every single one anyway, so there's no point in memorizing where the, the signs go. I didn't open up a shortcut here, nor do I think you can just... I mean, it would be nice if you could just um, check the last sign and, and there you go, but... But no, I still gotta go through all this bullshit. <laughs> song and give me your prize here. I'm hoping for dungeon keys, mirror shield, that actual vanilla prize would be nice because we need that. We got mirror shield, level 2 power bracelet, dungeon keys. If you please. Seashell. 300 rupees. Well spent. Alright. Now let's go to Martha's Bay and get the plethora of seashell checks that are there. And then around Animal Village, I think. Because Yarna Desert has a couple of checks that can uh, work out for us. And then I'll start looking around uh, Tall Tall Heights in the mountain range. And I think that's like all the checks that I can do out in the overworld, so I should get something. Oh right, and while I'm in Martha's Bay, I'm going to clear out uh, Catfish's Maw because it's right there. It's a good thing to remember to do. I like how this the seat has been straightforward so far. I mean, I pretty much I it's, it hasn't even been an hour and a half yet, and I'm well on my way. Um, I mean, I don't have I only have two instruments, but you know, it's kind of weird that just like I don't know, maybe like 30, 40 minutes in, I already have all of the uh, exploration items.
so I haven't gotten it yet. I'll just mark it there again, just... I mean, I'm going right there, pretty much. That's like the next closest thing that I can get... <coughs> Sorry, that I can get to. Enjoy that because Death Eye is a. It's not hard, but it's just time consuming. And if I could have the boomerang, that'd be swell. It'd just be swell. Fuck you. Another seashell. next to the house, by the way, which is technically on the beach, but... Okay, bird key. So we can uh, clear out Eagle's Tower when we're in the area. Now let's do Mad Batter first. If only because it's just a little tiny bit more of a thing to get to. I'll just get it out of the way. Boomerang is a good. I like the boomerang. We we like the boomerang around these parts, as I explained, like, not five minutes ago. This is one of those seeds that's like, oh, you actually want this? Well, okay, I'll give it to you. Right now. See, not, not even not even two, three minutes after I said I need the boomerang. I, I, I would like the boomerang. It's not needed, but I would like to have the boomerang. Get the boomerang. And, um, I'm just pleased as punch as that. At that. Pleased as punch as that. Pleased as punch at that. That's the thing I meant to say the first time.
bonk me in the head, sir. It's very rude. okay because you know we're going straight into a dungeon so Clearly the heal is appreciated let's put in the rocks feathers to make it easier to swim out checks do we have here? There's going to be five. got a key, so this might be something different. I'm also going to just go to... No, I actually have to... to... Kill Master Stalpos all four times. In order to get what the hookshot normally is. Arrows. For the thing I don't need or have. Honestly, I really don't need the bow now. I, I got the magic rod at the start. And for anything that's immune to the magic rod, I have the uh, the boomerang, so... Actually, I can just save warp to the beginning. And we don't have to hear the power-up music anymore, which is always good. Also, I guess that counts as a unique item. This way I can just get. There's nothing that is outside my grasp. I have all the items. Just wait for this guy. Oh, actually, I could use some bombs. That's serendipitous. and that counts as a unique item, so... We only have two left. And once we get those two, I'm just going to be looking for... Like, at this point, I'm just going to be looking for the Nightmare Key, and that's it. Because that's literally all I need... Um, to get to the end. <laughs> A lot of this dungeon is very skippable. It's 
kind of like Turtle Rock, where you can, like, skip, like, a third of the dungeon. up. <laughs> oh, actually, there is an item I can get right over here. And I'm going to... I'm going to avoid fighting Master Stalfos any further. Unless I know he has, like, the last um, unique item that I need. Or that I want to... I say that I need, but it's more that I, once I have all the unique items, you know, I'm just going to go straight for the boss, so if I find them before going to fight Master Stalfos, then I'll know I don't have to fight Master Stalfos. That's a good thing. I don't need this many keys, though. How many checks do I have left? Two. I know I probably said that like two minutes ago, but I'm just making double sure. something we want. That's something we very much want. I'm glad I got that. There's the nightmare key. Something else we want. And now once we have the mirror shield, we can just full clear uh, Turtle Rock. That's the map. We don't necessarily want that. As long as this next check, this next check isn't the uh, the compass, then we can avoid <laughs> Master Stalfos. I think this is where it's going to be like this. Actually, this is going to be the compass, and um... oh no, that's actually the last check, the uh, last unique item. So uh... we don't have to worry about Master Stalfos at all. That's good. That is, I mean, you know, I'd rather have something more useful than a piece of heart, but I'd also rather not go all over creation fighting the same mini-boss four times, so I can just go straight to the, uh, straight to the boss and, uh, be on my merry way. And, um, I will never, never say no to that. It's not like he, it's, it's not like he's hard. It's just very time-consuming and um, a, a little tedious. So if, if I can avoid fighting him, I will. I will certainly do so. It's the same reason why I don't fight the Gomas, because there is no reason to fight the Gomas. Uh, they just take up your time, and you can find a way around them to get to the boss. The only thing that they're good for is uh, opening up the warp to the uh, beginning of the stage, or the beginning of the dungeon.
Let's just see what he had. I mean, we're gonna see what he had anyway. <laughs> it was the compass. So Master Stalfos just had like a key or something. Two places where Peace Park normally are. Uh, there's a place where a seashell normally is, and um, there's where the Angler Key normally is. Which would be cool if it was also the Angler Key. I'm fairly sure that the Walrus is just open by default, so I don't have to worry about any of that. Yep, I can just go right in. Actually, before we go right in, let's head up this way and uh, at least see what's in this cave. This is normally a piece of heart. At the very least, I can take a peek, and if it's worth getting, I'll get it. This is one of those few times where I can actually do that. Let's see if it's worth the hassle going through all the bombing and stuff to get to it. Nah, it's just money. We can leave that alone and just leave. That saves me some time. I'll just go ahead and mark this off and say, no, we don't need that. Oh, I also got that, so we don't need to worry about that anymore. I still only have the eight seashells, right? Yes. Okay. Just want to make sure that's up to date. Pieces. Money. Oh, whoops, I didn't mean to. Oh, I was safe there anyway, so it didn't matter. I'm just gonna go ahead and mark this off here. But I forgot, the emulator still goes even if I'm. Even if I'm, uh, if it's not the active window. And it hasn't been the active window this whole time. I've been going off the OBS screen. So I can see everything better. Alright, that's a bust. Alright. Uh, I want to put off the face shrine area for now. Let's head up to, um, Tall Tall Heights. Because if anything, we can move to the um, to the mountain range from there. And once we're in the um, in the mountain range area, we can just clear out Eagle's Tower. It's probably easy to go this way. area near where uh, Angler's Tunnel is. I don't 
there aren't a whole lot of checks down there, but um, there is the uh, Mambo's Mambo check, there's the piece of heart check, there's um, the uh, Rapids Ride has two chests that we can look at. So there's no shortage of things we can do over here. Plus, it'll open up the warp while we're over here, too, so that, that'll make uh, things easier when we need to get back here for level 4, once we actually find the angler key. dance. We gotta dance to it. That is, uh, that's something that I've been doing in the stream, so. Dance ready. Good to check. Alright, let's go to Rapids Ride. Actually, the Rapids Ride will take us down to the Face Shrine, so we can at least check out the Southern Face Shrine area. Uh, and see what's in the Southern Face Shrine, as well as that secret seashell check. And then we can just come back up here... It'll be just easier to warp up here again, just to get to the, um, what am I, what am I thinking of? Uh, the upper mountain range. Appreciate the full refill. But I don't really need heart containers anymore. Bomb upgrade. Okay, that's something I, I won't have to worry about um, filling up on anymore. I guess. So let's just. I don't even need to pick anything up here. I'm just gonna leave. It's whatever. Out of here. And let's see what's uh, what's over here. I mean, that's a fairy fountain, but um, Some up or not in the meantime. Alright. Uh... Oh, yes, the shield is very helpful for here. We can just push these guys out of the way. There's someone outside the window. So, forgive me if uh, I hear people outside.
just confirming who's outside because they were sometimes the neighbor has someone who comes by and they talk as he's on his way out but they were talking for quite a bit it's actually my brother and my mom my mom stopped by for something uh, golden leaf yes we did mark it okay I did properly mark that that they more or less comforted from the length of the past, right? I'm not looking that up. No reason to. Normally I like to have the bow going through here, but we don't need that. Let me just use this. checks that I can on the overworld. So I'm thinking that um, the game is pretty much pushing me toward Eagle's Tower right now. Because there really isn't anywhere else I can go as far as I can see. Um, but the uh, mountain range. And I can't get into any of the other dungeons. So uh, this seems the, uh, the logical place to go. So let's do. So let's just uh, dash on over here. And hopefully we'll find more of what we need to and clear out the rest of the dungeons. So what are we missing now? We're missing the mirror shield that we need to get into level 8. Um, we need um, the... Well, actually, we can, we can go to level 6, but um, we can't full clear it. We need the um, level 2 power bracelet. So that's going to be in the control mode. And we also need... Um, that's just an arrow increase, I don't need that. Alright. Good to know. Uh, I can actually just clear this off, so I'm not going to need it. It's bamboozle. This is... Bow Wow, who I don't need. Yeah, what all the way need? I need the mirror shield, need the level 2 power bracelet, and I need the uh, level 1 key and level 4 key. And then we're go mode. That's all there is to it, really. Right, let's, uh, before we go on to Eagle's Tower, let's check up here. Because there's a um, seashell check right there. We can't get what's in there without the, um, the two bracelet. Hopefully it won't necessarily come to that, but it is a possibility. If we do get level 2 power bracelet while we're in Eagle's Tower, then I'll check in there. That's just money. So I'll take that off. Yeah, I'll, I'll come if we um, if we get the level two power bracelet. I'll come back and check the uh, the bird key uh, spot. Actually, I can check the bird key spot now. What am I talking about? I can still check it and see if whatever's there is worth getting. 
I don't need to get it. Or go all the way over there to get it. I can still see what it is. It's a secret seashell. It's not worth it. It is not worth it. Alright, well that's one less thing I have to do. But do keep in mind, me, that if for some odd reason I really need to get secret seashells, I know where one is. Now, who knows, knowing my luck, it, it could be something important locked behind the, uh, the 10 or 20 check. I might need all 20 secret seashells to get, like, the, the tail key or something. But the game wouldn't do that, would it? It's entirely possible. Hell, these all might be secret seashells. Might be able to get five secret seashells right there. Wouldn't that be something? There's the blue tunic. Uh, remind me to find a phone booth so I can change back into the red one. No, this is all money. I don't need this. that there are any other checks on the way to Eagle's Tower, so let's just, I think we can just go. Just a matter of going there. No, there's no other chests or anything on the way. Which is good, because that's less things I have to mark on the map. Or I would have had to think about marking on the map, because I was just looking at all those spots, and I'm like, there aren't any chests over here, are there? No, I don't think there are. And I was right, there aren't. This just leads to the 4 cave screen. Which is what I call this. And this leads straight up to Eagle's Tower. So, good to go. I can just clear this out because we're awesome like that. And hell, if we get the mirror shield here, like if it's vanilla or something, we'll just go straight to Turtle Rock and figure that out too. Because we're very much in the position to do so. Okay. This is almost always a key, I don't expect it to be anything else. It sure is. It for this. It's always good. Just put the boots on just being kidding. Okay, so I, I can normally make it over there and take the orb out, but just in case. Because I've been I've been fucking that up a lot lately. Let's see what's in here. So let's get rid of that. I have the means to do so. checks here. Now that I've taken a look and seen it.
these motherfuckers. Hates them. Damn it. At least I can hit two of them at a time and have them do the same thing. There we go. switch, and I can just head on up from here and then go to the, um, the mirror shield chest, which is a seashell. And down here is where you usually get a key. doing the uh, dungeon vanilla for the most part at this point. Very, very odd. Well, vanilla and all things except I don't have the mirror shield right now, but I would have just gotten it. But I have the magic rod and I can... I can get rid of the, uh, I can get, take Eagle Eagle down. No problems. Damn it. never have pro trouble with this guy, and not all of a sudden, he's being a butt. There we go. I usually get a first try. Damn it. This chest has a key in it, so that's fine. I'm not just attacking them all willy nilly. It's fucking stupid. Okay. Don't be fooled necessarily by dropping key, because it'll still give you the key tone even if it's not a key. See, in this case, it was the map. which is normally a piece of heart. Not a piece of heart. Uh, seashell. Now it's a piece of heart. Okay. Two items left. Vanilla beak. again, because I was expecting to be able to make a loop, and then I forgot that I had to drop down to get those two chests from the Hinox. That's okay. 
Okay, let's do it again. Not like that. Right, now do the loop around. Let's just take care of these bomb walls while we have the opportunity. Myself to do that. Hi. How you doing? And to be honest, I'm hoping this takes a little bit longer than it seems to, because I don't really have anything planned after this. I wasn't expecting a god seed. But I still have, like, you know, four items or whatever after this. Seems like the tooth and nail items are going to be dungeon keys. So it still might take me a while to get into like level one, for example, but uh, you know. The rate this is going, I'll probably be cutting like I don't know, 11, 30, or 12, maybe. So these typically go on for like three and a half, four hours. At least as far as I've experienced. Usually even longer than that. I mean, I. You know, I do admit most of my experience is through um, Z4 Rando, which is a little bit less. That's fine. Uh, where's my where's my orb? I have to let it finish falling. Okay, now it should be back on its little plinth. There we go. Yeah, Z4R is a little less refined, I think. A little. I mean, there there are some neat things that it does that, um, at least now, that uh, that this one doesn't do. Like, I'm kind of a fan of how you can do like a mirrored overworld map. You can do a setting where you can um, where like rocks and bushes and holes in the overworld are randomized and swapped amongst each other, which is honestly kind of a neat thing. But uh, one thing that turned me off to, uh, I mean, one thing I did like about Zelda, um, Z4 Reno as well when I first started doing it was the, the, it was the little shortcut door so you could take that would take you right back to the beginning. And then in the more recent versions of that, um, the shortcut doors, which are supposed to just go right back to the beginning, are now factored in with the randomization for doors. So you have five million doors that go back to the beginning. And um, sometimes, like, doors will take you out to where there should be random doors, like, like, a, or like a instant, like, a home point doors. And they'll, like, put you, like, out in the middle of a, a wall or something. I've had that happen to me, too. So a little bit less uh, less optimized now than it used to be, really. I've taken to just using a LADX rando all the time now because of uh, stuff like that. I mean, I'd like to be able to do you know mirrored world maps again. That was fun. But, um, it's really not that much of a, uh, a thing anymore. 
How many checks do I have left? I have two checks left. So the boss has something. By checks, I mean unique items. And one of them, one of the unique items is that stupid fucking medicine chest. We need to... It's like a conveyor belt room with a Beemos in it. And you have to throw the horse statues while a Beemos is pelting you. And you're on a conveyor belt. And then the boss has the other item. So that's great. He lied. That means in order to see what else I can get, I gotta go up here. And deal with this bullshit. This bullshit is not fun. I mean, I have a bit of an advantage because I have the blue tunic on, and I have a shit ton of health, but... Well, it seems that the second round of throws are guaranteed to work. I got the bow for what that's worth. I'm still not going to go out of my way to pick up the um, the quiver upgrade, because I don't really need the bow for anything anymore. I have the boomerang and the um, and the magic rod, so everything I could use the bow, I can use one of those. Including this boss coming up. I can just hit it three times with a magic rod and Fried chicken. Observe. I have a key that I didn't use. Where did I not open the door? Oh, there's a, uh, a lock block that, um, that you don't need to trigger at all. Shield. Usually you use the mirror shield to, um, if he just stays up and flaps his wing at you, he'll throw debris at you, and the only way that you can block that debris is with the mirror shield, because otherwise it'll knock you off the platform and you have to start over. And I didn't even have to do that. And I have exactly ten, um, whoop, seashells to minimize the window there. I don't know if that affected things. So I know that if I bring up another browser tab, it'll, like, replace the, um... It'll replace the, uh... the tracker on the screen. So, when, I, when we're done and I'm looking for a raid target, that's gonna... That's gonna go away before I start trolling around on Twitch looking for someone to raid. We only have four, um, instruments. Okay. Well, I don't have the mirror shield, so I can't go straight to level eight. So I'm just going to do a save and quit. Well, not save and quit, but return home. And I'm going to do a quick dash over to the... the uh, seashell mansion, uh, see what that has for us, because I want to do the, uh, the ten seashells check while we have ten seashells. And then the only other place I can think of to go, um, that we really have access to right now is, um, level six. Because level one and four need keys, and level eight needs the mirror shield. I don't want to talk to you, Taryn. You don't need to talk to Taryn. key or the mirror shield or the level 2 power bracelet please yes I would like either of those things it's just four things it's a secret seashell god damn it right, we can let's take that off there 
I can actually take these out. Uh, I can take this out. I can take this out. That I need the last leaf for. That I need to actually. Actually, I can go up here if I wanted to, but I'm in the I'm in the area for um, level six, and I can get into level six. So we may as well just go in, even though if we can't we can't full clear it right now. There is always the chance that a the power bracelet is in there, or b it will give us access to another dungeon. And since that's our only option right now, as far as I can see, might as well do it. I'm not against it. Um, so we can just head on in. chest I know we can get over right away. I'm just, just kill these whiz ropes right here. Since I have bomb arrows, I may as well use the bomb arrows against the whiz ropes and kill them quicker. Still not going to pick up the quiver, don't need to, but... Look <laughs> out what was inside this box, come get it if you dare. Oh dear. There's seven unique items in this dungeon. Master Skull Note. Alright, so those we can't get unless we have the power bracelet. To a, it leads to an owl statue. It's always a trap. I almost always fall for, fall for it. The torches have nothing to do with how to progress here. It's just killing the slimes. Let's jump through here. save and quit to get out of here because we can't leave this room without the uh, without the uh, power bracelet. Let's, let's check the upper left side. See if there's anything worth taking there. position to just uh, clear the dungeon out, so let's do. Oh, forgot to uh, also mark off this is, that was a unique item. But um, we also do need um, A dungeon key or the mirror shield. Found a single arrow. Joy. <laughs> of 
forget where that actual that actual chest is. I don't think there's anything like that in the uh, in the Game Boy version at least. I don't remember coming up across anything like that in this. There's the beak. Oh, I guess the middle finger arrow is a unique item too. So we really do need um, some more dungeon progression out of here too, because um, I'm pretty uh, pretty much out of uh, out of overworld spots. Let's check. Unless it really expects us to get. 20 secret seashells, or the other golden leaf. I mean, it's possible we can get the golden leaf. There's only one of those left. And, um... On, to be honest, if we get the, if we do get the last golden leaf, that's two checks. Uh, because not only is it the, um, the secret seashell that's normally, um... under Richard's house, but it's also, there's also the, um... what's normally the, uh... level three key. So that's two ch checks. Speaking of secret seashells... There we go. Oh, actually I actually have 12. I may or may not have forgotten to check one of those off. Uh, so I may be um, one uh, selection off. Oh no, the, the that other secret seashell was from the um, was from the uh, seashell mansion. So we're still we're still up to date with our checks here. All right, let's check. Code rapid ride, magic powder upgrade. I mean, there really isn't any other place to put the microphone, but I keep bumping into it with the mouse. That's why you hear thumping every once in a while. Alright, uh... That is all the checks on this side, yes, yes it is. will be in position for another, uh... There we go. That's what I want. Because now the blocks are in a good position for a, uh... to gain access to a chest on the, uh, right side of the dungeon. from two. This and that one, like, bomb room in level three are, like, the main reasons I'm glad that in the Switch version not the blocks are in the wrong position. What the fuck? Alright, what I'm gonna do... Go up here. Take off the bow. Take care of the mini-boss. 
warp back and put the blocks back to where they need to be. Because the blocks were not in the position that I wanted. For me to get the, uh, the chest that's up there. Always wrong about that. is lined up so I can get that chest and not have to worry about it later. Take care of these stupid whiz ropes again. And it's not like the whiz ropes are like hard to again it's just very time consuming because they take forever to fucking show up for you to be able to damage them. It's very annoying. And again, I'm glad that the, the Switch version basically kept the rooms clear when you cleared them, so you only have to do that once and then you never do it again. Unless you start the game over, obviously, but that and that stupid bomb room. That's just the compass. Uh, in uh, level 3. Are like the worst. When it comes to just tedious rooms that you have to go through more than once if you don't, like, abuse, save and quit warping or whatever. It's the seashell. It's the seashell dungeon. Yeah, we only found two, but still. Alright. Let's go forward in the dungeon. Two checks left, two unique items left, I should say. Two non dungeon items left. Um, and three checks. So one of those is a key, probably. And. Because um, we have those two chests, and. Oh, there's another. Actually, there's four checks. Because there's a, uh, a key drop spot. So there's those two chests, the key drop spot, and the boss. Here's the key drop spot. And it's probably going to be a key because in order to get at the um, in order to actually get at the two chests. Unless the, the, the boss drops the key. Um, yeah, because otherwise we're not going to be able to get up in that, do that uh, lock block. I don't know if that's what they're actually called. This is what I call them because uh, it rhymes. And it would be something that Nintendo calls it, but uh, I don't know if those officially have names. They're just blocks and blocks in them. I call them lock blocks because it's fun to say. <laughs> guaranteed after two. They do seem to have a better chance of popping up um, properly, though. At least more so than I've seen in the in vanilla. Alright, let me just... Do that. I'll head north to get that chest. so we can take care of these sparks as well. That's the key. Okay. Well, 
yeah, it has to be a key because you do need the, um, there's a lock block before you get to the, um, what's normally the uh, Nightmare Key chest. So that makes sense. Okay. So that means that uh, the next chest and the boss each have a unique item. It's pretty nice. Let's just hope that they're things that we need. Because if they're not things that we need, then... Uh, then we're stuck. Unless it's a gold leaf, because the gold, like I said, the gold leaf will give us two checks, and maybe that's what we need to move forward. But as such as it is, show me potato salad. This game really wants me to get all the secret seashells, doesn't it? I'm gonna have to go back to I'm gonna have to go back to the bird key check and get that seashell, aren't I? That's why it was hidden behind the power bracelet. <laughs> oh god. Seriously. Alright, the boss has to have something. The boss has to have a dungeon key or the mirror shield. If the boss is a fucking seashell, I'm gonna fucking lose it. This is where it stopped being a god seed. <laughs> There's nothing else I can do. I'm stuck now. Oh no, I'm not. I am not stuck. Aha. Aha ha ha ha. Good thing I have the map. I wanted to actually return to home, but still. Alright, no. The other side of the uh, the, the uh, west side of the uh, the mountain range. There's two. There's two checks I can do. There's the mad batter, and then there's the um, there's the uh, the chest right outside. So those got to have something. Because the game is giving me nothing but seashells now, and I. With as many checks as I have left, I don't really have the means to get five more seashells. I have... Like, not... Like, counting things I've already seen and haven't taken, um, there's one spot that definitely is a seashell, and... 
at least from what I can remember. And there's um, uh, two spots that possibly could be seashells, but I would rather have them not be. I'd rather have them be progression. Because the only other course of action would be to... Uh, the only other course of action would be to start the trade sequence. And that's going to be tedium in and of itself. See, now this is where all the time is going to start tacking on. This is where this is where the rando started giving us the middle finger. Is just dungeon access. <laughs> this is one of the rare occurrences where we get all of our exploration like in the first within the first hour, and then we have to start searching for dungeon access. Hey, you know what? While we're here, just to be on the safe side, in case the, the game really is asking us to get all 20 fucking secret seashells, I may as well pick up the one here. Because I wouldn't put it past the game at this point. So since, since we're passing by, may as well. But yeah, the only other check I can think of outside of those, those two is if we just do the entire trading sequence. Because we can do the entire trading sequence. And then see what the Gurria will give us. This whole cutscene. Okay, good. The owl doesn't show up. I'm not gonna go down there. That's just a quiver upgrade. I don't need it. of the, uh, of the cabbages. This is heart container, damn it. Alright, you have to have something. You have to have something. You are my last check. If you don't have anything, I don't know what to do. Okay. Golden Leaf I can work with. Because like I said before, the Golden Leaf will give me access to two more checks. So I'm okay with that. So that means either... The chest in Richard's basement has to be something, or the slime key has to be something. Or they could possibly both be something. I don't care. But I need a dungeon key or the mirror shield to be able to do anything. Unless I, again, get the magnifying glass. Here. Money. 
outside of a, a heart piece air, uh, a heart piece check that I can only get at if I if I can get into Turtle Rock. This is my last check, like at all, anywhere. Okay, what we got? Give it to me. Yes. Level one access, let's go. I also have this. I think I have 15. I have 15 of those? 16, I have 16 seashells. Okay. Now we're getting someplace. Oh, keep saving and quitting when I mean to home warp. All right. And by getting someplace, I mean like the very restricted path forward now. So Tail Cave has uh, four checks, four items. I'm sorry. Keep saying check when I mean unique items in the case of dungeons. Sorry. But yes, we can get four unique items from here. And one of them has to be either the mirror shield or the angler key, because if it, if it isn't, then I can't go anyplace. So we'll just see which one or both it gives us. And then we can just like stop picking up stuff, unless it's needed for progression. This chest, angler key, okay. So we'll head for level four once we're done here. There's the mirror shield, okay. Uh, so that means we're in go mode now. I don't have to, all I really need are whatever keys and the nightmare key that I need to finish each dungeon now. I don't need anything else, we're good. So I don't need to open that chest. Check what the chest is up here. That's not anything we need. But let's check the uh, secret seashell room. Because I just need one key. No, I need two keys and the nightmare key. That's the other key. So the nightmare key is probably where the rock's feather is. A ways out of the way, but it's fine. And that means we need the other key. The third key, as well, to, uh... Oh, no, it could just as easily have been the, um... The beat key, but we're here already, so we may as well check. It would have been nice if I had... Didn't go up all this way. Because if it's not if it's not making the uh, the compass noise, then I'm not picking it up. Okay, that's the that's the nightmare key. Alright, so let's 
just uh, let's just take out Moldorm. Suit guys, whatever they're called. Spy crawler can just do that a couple times. I don't care. I'll mark it down anyway, but I don't care. But I didn't have to get the beak! Alright. So level 4 is easier to get to, so let's just go for that. And then we'll go to level 8. Probably find a um actually I should go so I'm gonna save that tunic because I'm gonna I'm gonna find a phone booth and change into the red tunic. I don't need the blue tunic at all. I have uh, twelve heart containers and a um and a life potion. I don't need I don't need the extra defense. The nearest. It's over here past the swamp. Let's go there real quick. Oh, I don't even need the magic power. We can put, we can put Bow Wow to use. Because I forgot I found Bow Wow. Yeah, and, uh, and LADX Rando. Uh, whenever you find uh, Bow Wow in a chest, uh, he only shows up in, um, in the swamp, and uh, is basically there to eat the, uh, the flowers. That's green. That's right, okay. You have one job. I need you a lollygagging. We're in, uh, we're, we're in go mode. I want to finish the seed. out. We're 
only looking for keys. And nothing else. Not beaks. <laughs> we don't want beaks. I mean, honestly, I don't even need to mess with the tracker at all anymore. In fact, I'm not going to. There's no point. Compass will let me know if it's worth getting a chest now. Okay, that's not worth getting. Also be a key down, down there, but well, there is. So there one of these two had to be a key because the other ones I opened were not. The other ones I found, at least, were not. And you need a key to progress. Come on. Too used to vanilla sometimes. Oh, I need two keys anyway, so yeah. Okay, that's a key. Out of the way. I have to go up through a lock block, that's true. At this point, I just need the Nightmare Key and I'm good. Because I can jump over the, um, the gap or whatever. Is this the Nightmare Key or is this a regular key? That's just a regular key. I'll hold off on that for now. Is this a key? That's not a key. Well, I mean, it could, it could be also, um, Vanilla Nightmare Key. I have to go through that little tunnel to get at it. Because I don't know the glitch to get up there without it. But I do need to go and fight Q-Ball at the very least and get past him. So I can get whatever's in the flipper chest. If that is, in fact, something I need. Ball real quick.
<laughs> of course I did. Why, why wouldn't I find a secret seashell? I'm not even gonna. If I get all the secret seashells this way, I'm not even gonna check what, what, what the reward is. I don't care. I really don't care. I don't need a fucking tracker up anymore. I'm just keeping it up there to take up space. Now let's just go straight to Turtle Rock and, uh. And then we're pretty much done. This was a very interesting seed, I gotta say. I had a lot of fun with this one. Yeah, there was there was a long drought of just nothing but seashells, but it was still, you know, plotted out very well and uh, still able to you know, point me in the right direction well enough. point was I really stuck, and, um, well, I probably would have thought I was stuck if I didn't have the tracker up, I will admit that, because I had forgotten all about, um, the Mad Batter up on, uh, on the western part of the mountain range, and I would have, uh, totally forgotten about that, and I, I would have probably found out what to do after looking at the, um, Spoiler log. Which I, I don't think I actually printed out the spoiler log. Um, I don't think I actually saved that, so... Um, it's a good thing I didn't need it. Now, let's see how much of Turtle Rock we can skip. I think I can, like, as soon as I find the uh, the Nightmare Key, I'm fairly sure I only need, like, maybe a key or two and I can get right to him. Oh no, if I find the Nightmare Key, I can just go straight to him. If I find, it, if I find him early, I can just, like, warp back to the beginning, go through... Because I have the, uh, I have the Magic Rod, so I can just... I could head straight to the boss door, like, right now, and I would just, that, all I need is that key. Once I have the boss key, then I can just head straight and just... So I hope that it's, like, within the first few checks. Because then I can just, um, I can skip, like, 75% of the dungeon and be funny. This is probably going to be the point where it's going to hang up and be like, nah. We're gonna make you do the whole dungeon, which is fine. I like Turtle Rock, but um, I just think it would be really funny if I found like the uh, like the if I found the boss key like first thing and just like went straight to uh, to kill Hothead. That would be pretty much ideal. And then I can just go straight to the end. Get these guys out of the way. No. Thank you. 
<laughs> of course, the, 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 I hope the first thing is the uh, is the is the boss key. It gives me like the exact opposite thing of what I want. Fucking beak. Most useless item in the game. It's the map. <laughs> no, but it was like you see here, motherfucker. You're going to get each and every one of these chests, whether you like it or not. Holding my hand for like the entire seed, and now it's like, okay, this is going to be an ungrateful bitch. Well, this is level two sword. Which is kind of neat. And now I don't need the red tunic because uh, it doesn't work well with the. It doesn't work as intended with the level two sword, from what I understand. But whatever. I don't need. I don't need any either tunic really. I have more than enough hearts and insurance. turned off those kind of messages. If I just attack them, the magic draw the turn to stall for us, then they'll be immune. There's a compass. Okay, that's... That's fine, because that'll let me know. Ooh, that might be... Something I'll have to do. I don't want to open that door. Ooh, could this be it? It's basically just like a key drop from the ceiling. It could be anything. Because the, the key tone always goes off on those places, not just when it's keys. Probably just to let you know uh, in the event you forget something is there that, hey, there might be something here. I'd like it to get a nightmare key. Let's 
seashell. I have all but one seashell, really? Alright. Alright. Okay, let's go to where um cue ball is. Let's go past cue ball because that's an easy way to uh access the upper left. <laughs> Without having to bomb through the darkened rooms and everything. I mean, not that that's a pain in the ass, let's do it this way, it's just quicker. I'm gonna check what the, what the prize is. I don't care. If this was a seashell seed, then that would be what I need to get to the end. Okay, that's nothing we want. That's nothing we want. Uh, it might be that the Dodongo Worms has it. Alright. I forgot, there's like 25 secret seashells in the game. It's not just the 20. You know what? I'll grab the heart container that's right here. I'll do it. I don't need these arrows. I don't need these night vision goggles. Alright. Uh, let's take care of these Dodongo Worms. Hopefully this is what we want. I hate doing this, and it was... That's one of the things I like about Z4 Rando, is it actually puts a, uh, a ramp in this room, so you can just get rid of the Dodongo Worms at your leisure, and then just go up and get the chest. You don't have to do it from up here. Could have gone a lot worse. There it is. Good, good, good. Alright, then it's just straight to the end. We didn't have to fight Blano, we didn't have to go through any unnecessary rooms. All in all, I still got to skip a I don't know, a decent chunk of his dungeon. I would have I would I was kinda hoping to skip more. But what are you gonna do? How many pieces of heart am I missing? Four pieces of heart I'm missing. Unless I just happen to get them all. And I'm actually missing a heart container. I don't know, I haven't been counting the heart containers. I didn't care. So is it, is it, so I either have I'm either missing four pieces of heart or a heart container. I wouldn't exactly say I'm missing them, but I'd fuck that up. Alrighty. Right, at least I took out the ice messages. I 
bombs there, bud? No, it's just we're gonna ram them into you and you're gonna take like all the damage. That's fine, I had a potion, but still. That was kind of rude. But I still took a bunch of it. Key! I can open a locked door, but I won't, because... What's the point? I don't need to. We win. We win the game. The game's already done. Well, I mean... It's not done done, but... It'll be done in a bit. again. Come on. Bow wow. Bow wow. Bow wow's not really hungry today. It's taking him forever to eat the flowers. And yes, I know sometimes it always it usually takes him a bit, but still. more time than usual. Alright. Yeah, this is a pretty good seed. It, uh... I'm still, like... It's not really a jet seed. I mean, it still took, took me, like, over three hours to beat, but... Um, like I said, I got all my exploration gear in within an hour, and the rest of it was just... dungeon access. And that was, like, a little over halfway through the dungeons when I, before I was go mode, so... Like I said, very interesting. Um, I enjoyed this quite a bit. There's the magic powder for the first phase of the boss. Left. Left. Up. Right. Right. Up, left, up. Because it's always the same until you look at the book. When you look at the book, it chooses from the uh, from the randomized paths. But if you don't look at the book, it's always the same. Left, left, up, right, right, up, left, up. Sorry, please. Copy. It's not over yet. Next is Aghanim. Can't just like hit that other blast. 
I'm like in a, a like a pretty fast oh, three. feather just in case I get hit too much. Death Eye. There we go. What the fuck was that? <laughs> okay. Let's just, just for shits and giggles, let's just see how many... checks I got. Yeah, yeah, I've got all the nightmares and stuff. It's fine. Even with the owl disabled, he still comes back at the end. At least you can skip through the cr credits quicker, if I remember correctly. I don't really want to talk to you either. I just want to put it up to the title total screen and then go look for someone to raid. <laughs> I don't know who's even on. I, 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 this usually isn't a lot of there aren't really a lot of people on Saturday nights. I've noticed. We'll see who, who's there. When the time comes. Let's see if we can get through this. much else to say. I already talked, said my thoughts on the seed. It was very fun, very interesting. Um, it got a little frustrating when I thought I was going to get stuck, um, but uh, it just the path was just a little bit more convoluted uh, than I thought it was going to be. Like, if I didn't have the tracker up and I didn't see um, oh, I can still go to the Mad Batter, I would have been like because, like I said, I forgot to, to uh, save a, a spoiler log, so I wouldn't have known where to go. And, um, cause I, I, I completely, um, just went out my mind, <laughs> went out of my mind, um, slipped my mind, that's the terminology I'm thinking of, until I saw it on there. And then even then it just gave me a golden leaf, and I had to dig up the key. It's like, you could have just 
give me the damn key. <laughs> but, whatever. And then we were go mode in the next dungeon, so that was, uh... I was actually just fully expecting it to, like... If it was going the way I was expecting, I would have probably just gotten the, uh, the Angler Key in Tail Cave, and then gotten the Mirror Shield in Angler's Tunnel. And then it would have been the same from there. And it would have just taken a little bit longer. 180 checks out of 208, that's a lot. That is a lot. Well then, that's, uh, that's gonna be it, so, um, give me one moment here, I'm gonna actually turn off the desktop audio, because, um, otherwise, like, all the stream sounds and stuff are gonna come out. I try to look for raid targets, I don't necessarily want to do that. I'm gonna take off the tracker, so that, um, the window doesn't pop up. And uh, let's see who is online to raid. Um, I know where we're going. Um, so let's see. Oh yeah, he's still doing ancient caves. Not sure how much longer he's going to be on, but uh, we're going to go raid Ice Blue. Uh, Ice Blue is one of my best friends on Twitch, and we're going to show him some love. He's playing Lufia 2. He's doing some del delves into Ancient ca Cave, and it'll be fun to see where that goes. So... Uh, And almost ready to read. Just got to keep going with this. So until then, um, yeah, I've been Raider, I've been Raider Goji. I've been Captain Floofers, and uh, I'll be here. Uh, we'll be back on, on Monday. I think we're going to do another, uh, we're going to do another seed of this. So look forward to that. So uh, I'll be here next time. Join me, won't you?